we consider the system of order 3 with a single input and single output as described by uh, as follows so it is described by a differential equation and the first question is to calculate its transfer function so I have this differential equation y dot 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 plus a2y dot dot plus a1y dot plus a0y equal b2u dot dot plus b1u dot plus b0 so this system links the input u to the output y so the transfer function uh, to get the transfer function in the first question I go to the Laplace space so I will compute the Laplace transform of, of all these equations and I get S3 y hat plus a2 s2 y hat plus a1 s y hat plus a0 y hat equal b2 s2 u hat plus b1 s u hat plus b0 u hat I factorize uh, and I get that uh, and isolate y hat and I get that y hat equal something multiplied by u hat so it is a, a, a rational function where here I have b2 s2 plus b1 s plus b0 and here this polynomial and this corresponds to the transfer function g of s so it was my first question now I observe that the transfer function can be expressed as a product of two other transfer function and from this observation I have to deduce a block diagram with three integrators, adders and amplifiers question number two so I observe that I have something like this, a first block another block here and here the output on the first block I have the transfer function S3 plus A2 S2 plus A1S plus B0 and the other block is P2 S2 plus B1S plus P0 and here so I should put hat here since I am in the uh, Laplace uh, representation and here I have something I will call x1 hat uh, from uh, from this I can write thus two equations so one representing uh, uh, the link between one x1 and u and I get s3 x1 hat equal u hat minus a2 s2 x1 hat minus a1 s x1 hat minus a0 x1 hat 
and the other one is y hat equal b2s2 plus uh, x1 hat plus p1s x1 hat plus p0 x1 hat so from these two equations I will be able to draw uh, a block diagram so first I can see that in this equation I need the different quantities I need this quantity to build this quantity this quantity and this one so this quantity can be considered as signals so I will build them I have an integrator followed by another integrator another integrator uh, this one correspond to x1 here so I can use uh, Laplace representation I will put a hat as before here I uh, I have the derivative so in the Laplace representation I will have s x1 hat here I have s2 x1 hat here s3 x1 hat ok so I have built uh, this one and this equation I can propose a circuit corresponding to this equation so this one has been isolated I put here a adder and I read this equation so in this equation I have the u here and I have the other quantities so I have here a minus so I will put a header here and put here minus a2 like this with a header here so this corresponds to this here we do the same minus a1 corresponding to this I put a header here and the last one this one minus a0 like this then I will wire the second equation to form y y hat so for this I will have here b2 is to x1 for this one I go here to an other here I will have b1 due to this here b0 here the other due to this and I form y so this correspond to uh, uh, the uh, block diagram corresponding to the transfer function so I can realize this one since I have only integrator amplifiers this can be done by a resistor uh, operational amplifier uh, and sums only now question number three I have to give the state equation associated to this diagram so for this I will rename so this one 
I will call it uh, x1, so it's x1. This one, I will call it x2. So I can remove the hat here, the hat everywhere. Everything now depend on time t. So here it's uh, x2, so x2 is here. This one I will call it x3. Here I will have x dot 3. Since I am just in front of the integrator, here I have x dot 2. Here x dot 1. And from this, I can write the state equation. So I will have equation number 3 x dot 1 x dot 2 x dot 3 which should be written in function of x1 x2 x3 plus a matrix time u so to have a linear representation and the same here I have to write y as a function matrix x1, x2, x3 a plus, so I have no direct term, so that's all. So for this, x.1, x.1 is here and corresponds directly to x2. This is why I have 0, 1, 0. Here, in the same manner, I have x.2, which is equal to x3. This is why I have 0, 0, and 1. And x dot 3 is a sum of u, so u here, 0, 0. And I have minus a2, uh, minus a2 here, x3, minus a1, minus x1, uh, a1, x2, and here, minus a0, due to this. Concerning y, y, I have y, which is a linear combination of the x1, x2, x3, and I will have b0, b1, b2. So this corresponds to my uh, to the state equation corresponding to this. So what I was able to show is from a transfer function j of s, I am easily able to construct a block diagram and a state representation. So in the other direction it was quite easy because j of s is directly known as uh, C S E minus A B plus D. So it is a formula we can apply from A B C and D which is equal to zero here. I have a formula which gives me immediately J. Here we have proposed a method to get from J F S this representation which is called a canonical control form.